Welcome back for the Grand Strategist, my name is Danny Stone and I'm delighted for you to be able to join me today for another episode of Imperator Rome, playing as the glorious nation of Epirus. So, in the last episode, where do I start? Um, we think I think we went on the war against the Greek city-states and we got some land off them, uh, notably in our home, uh, home province of Epirus and um, a little bit next to it. We didn't get too much because the war was really bloody and uh, the enemy troops did a hell of a lot of damage to me. Now, I think that's because they have a big tech advantage over me. Um, so I do really need to address that. So uh, in this episode, uh, we have quite a few things to actually sort out. The first and the main priority has got to be the tech. We need tech, more tech and more tech. I need to get the extra additional uh, bonuses due to the military tech that we uh, we get. So I definitely need to get that up. And the way to get more tech is to get more citizens. Now this brings me to the second point. And um, I do want to thank Carl for this. So he left a couple of comments in one of the previous videos. Uh, detailing the best way probably to uh, get rid of the horrible tribesmen, shave the beards off, convert them, assimilate them and get them producing tech tech and commerce and commerce citizens so if i go up here let's say to one of my more barbaric places which is the province of paonia you can see they have about 54 percent uh, of the pops are tribesmen i do need to get rid of them the best thing uh, apparently would be to go for the promote pops uh, so social mobility so um get like change this governor policy I will do it when I get the required political influence. We do make a little bit per month. I think make you know quite a bit actually, 2.22 every month, down to the fact that a lot of our people are loyal. But um, anyway, uh, change that to uh, the uh, pop um, uh, pop promotion uh, governor policy, um, which I think it's social mobility. That's what it's called, and we'll get rid of the tribesmen. And then once that's done, uh, we'll start um, kind of uh, assimilating them and uh, culturally well culturally assimilating them and religiously converting them um, with the different governor policies and then only then I will centralize them all into the provincial capital um, I'll do the same up here as well for the province of, uh, of um, Diorcia um, so the same here you can see that it's like 81% of the pops are tribal same we need to do social mobility and I think they're the only real places where I need it done because everywhere else um, they don't really have that many tribesmen to be honest I could do it down here just to get rid of the kind of 15 tribesmen there is there um, I do have a lot of slaves in this province but we could do it there as well just to kind of get that done and dusted and get rid of all the tribesmen get more tech going and really just kind of go for the tech just get the tech up we've, we've got to get the tech up um, so I don't know if we're in advance we're only 18 years in advance I'm sure that the Greek city states down here are way more ahead of me I'm, I'm pretty sure they are uh, they have they're level 10 11 11 10 we are yeah, God, they're way ahead of me. Way, way ahead. That's why they hurt me so much. So uh, we definitely need to sort that out. So anyway, let's get things rolling. Um, so our manpower is quite low. It is very low, actually. So uh, it's going to take a while to get back up. We do gain 500 and some per month, so it should go relatively quickly. Uh, we have a disloyal character. He's the general, but he's lost most of his men. He's here and he's moving them about here and there. Um, I have moved my armies to different places, uh, to like different corners of the realm and just to kind of put them where it's needed and get them up a bit. Um, what else? Um, do I have any unrest? I do have a bit of unrest. Yeah, I have a bit of unrest. I could assign the armies to the regional governors. Um, I might actually do that at some point just to get that unrest down. Um, it's not that high actually. Um, the war exhaustion makes it go up. Well, the war exhaustion gets you up quite a bit, to be honest, the, the unrest. Um, unhappy pops as well. Governor corruption, but it, it will go down on its own. It's not really that high. Um, I've probably assigned some of the units to the um, to the region, probably, and uh, it could solve the issue. But anyway, let's just shift these guys off there. I don't want them going on. Um, don't want the bloody general leaving his troops over my troops, so I don't want to lose any troops down to attrition. Uh, the decent local power of Zargideva wants to import grain from Atonia. No problem, guys. You can import the grain. Here, we will change the governor policy. Um, it will cost me a little bit of tyranny, but shove it. We'll have it. We'll have uh, the uh, social mobility one. Uh, so, let's definitely do that. Now, it says pop promotion speed plus 5.50. The only reason I really didn't do it beforehand is because I thought it was negative. I thought it, I, I, it's got to be a bug because it says pop promotion speed plus 5.5. .5. I think it's 5.5 times fast well plus 5.5 speed wise so it like goes a bit quicker the only, the thing that like 
stopped me from taking it before. It's because it's in red and Paradox generally have like green letters or green numbers for positive bonuses and uh, red le well red numbers for the negative effects. So I'm hoping that that's just kind of a little text bug and it will sort itself out. We'll keep an eye on it anyway. We have 65 tries, and we'll keep an eye on how long that takes to actually uh, actually get uh, promoting some pops. Hopefully it will work. I don't know how long it takes. Why do not you change? Oh no, it's up here now. That was why. So it's in this one up here. It doesn't say that there's any promotion going on. Don't know why. Um, yeah, I've, it's uh, maybe it's a monthly chance. I don't know. Maybe every month there's a chance that one promotes or demotes. We'll see. Anyway, we'll keep it on a little bit and we'll see. Anyway, a discreditable alliance. A young woman named Aristodike, a little note until now, has arrived at the palace in Passeron, bearing a baby who she claims is the son of Basilus Hyperides I. Now, do I have any heirs or not? I do have a child, he's a primary heir. This baby is awful and I'm not going to have him. Um, so I'll make this problem go away. I lose a bit of money. I don't want any more tyranny though. Hmm. Keep it secret, but the child will never want for anything. Can baby has royal blood. Nah, I'm going to make the problem go away. I don't want to have any more issues. We'll just get rid of the problem. <laughs> the problem can just disappear. <laughs> that seems to be the best thing to do. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say that I did off-camera build two forts here, only because uh, doing the war with the Greek city-states, they went right round and went through this way to try and seize the capital. It was really efficient, so I want to block them. So that's why I've done that there. Anyway, civic advances, which is great. More pop capacity, more national commerce income, which is cool. And uh, it means we can also uh, have some more tech if we wanted to buy some, which is always very good. And what I also did want to do here at some point, we will definitely um, kind of sh like move around all the slaves and build some mines and farming settlements and try and get like a surplus of slaves and everyone to get a surplus of a resource just so we can make that little bit extra money. Even though we make a hell of a lot now, I mean, 39.21. That is also down to the fact that we don't have many troops to maintain because a lot of them are dead and the armies are replenishing, but still, we'll definitely move them about at some point. Um, what else? What else? Um, so what was it? 65 tribal here, was it? I think it was 65 tribal pops. Hmm. Hopefully it will get rid of the tribesmen. I um, honestly don't know, but hopefully it will work. <laughs> Um, the Okay, so the unrest has gone down quite a bit, actually. Um, we must have lost a modifier due to that. Maybe the war exhaustion... Yeah, the war exhaustion uh, is going down, which also gets the unrest down, which is pretty cool. Um, now let's just... Uh, let's go through these provinces here and see what we can actually do here. What have I got here? Here I've got a farming settlement, which means that every 10 slave pot provides an additional livestock. So we've got 11 there, so that's cool. We've got 10 there, I think. That's every 10. Yep, that's cool. Here it's every 15. What can I build here? Can I build anything? Hmm. Nothing really to go with the um, to go with the furs. I don't need to do anything there. Here we have the farming settlement, and we have eight. I can move some slaves. I'll probably move them from Boo. Yeah, let's do that. We'll move two slaves here. Move pop here, and we'll move it from Boo. One, two. So now we should have an extra surplus. There we go. We do a surplus of vegetables. I do want to take the time to do this properly. Um, I think it's worthwhile. It, it's, it's I think it is definitely worthwhile to do. It's just that it's more resources to trade. It's more money. It's like it's just. Um, I think it's just really worthwhile. Um, I could move some pops. Let's get the pops out of this one here at the leather uh, building territory. I can't do anything there, like no mine or anything to reduce the slaves required. So let's just move some. There's a few pops. Move pop here. We'll move it from... Where is it? Stibera. So that's two. That gives me a surplus normally, which is nice. I should be able to move two more as well down here from the same territory. So I'll move pop there. Stibera, Stibera. Where is it? One, two. So we should have... There we go. A surplus there as well. Here we don't. I think I've gone through most of them there. This is a settlement. I have built a fort there. Because it does actually block. Yeah, that actually blocks it. But do I want it there? No, I don't. Let's get rid of the fort there. I think that's the best thing to do. We'll get rid of the fort. And I'll build it here instead in the city. Just because I do want to block the passages. These are strategic passes. So I do want to block them off. I mean, okay, it costs us maintenance. But we make so much money. It's not really much of an issue. So let's do it in Stobie. We'll build the farming settlement here. Oh, is it a slave estate? 
No, it's the farming settlement. So what does that do? That's like slave need for surplus and local monthly food modifier. Okay, that's the one we want. So I have four slaves there. I do need to move these, get some more slaves. We need uh, six slaves. So I've got three there and one there. So we'll move them, the slaves from the neighboring territories. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. A few pops. Move pop here. And that one is Pelagonia. One, two, three. Move the one from Stibera. Okay, so that's then moved out the way. Do I have any more I can move anywhere here? I have one in the city of Elimia. And I could move the three from Boo as well. It's probably best to move the three from Boo. Yeah, the three from Boo, it makes it up to ten. So I'll move it up. We'll move them. Uh, so where's Boo? Boo, 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 Boo. Where is it? Oh, no, it's here. This is the one I wanted to go on. Damn, it's on the wrong one. Um, did I click on the wrong one? Yes, I did. So, a few pops. Move pop here from Boo. Boo, boo, boo. One, two, three. Okay, so that's cool. Now we have... We should have an excess of... Uh, yep, an excess of livestock is should be there now. Well, it will be once we've built the farming settlement, so that'd be cool. Uh, the local power of Dictionia Dici wants to import vegetables. No problem, it's more money. We'll definitely go for the import. Uh, let's keep playing the time forward. Now I can do probably the rest at my own leisure. Down here. Now, what can we shift? Dion, it has some fish, and I need what one more to actually get it up to the excess there, which I can do. Um, could move one from there, from the agent, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, move pop there from AGI. Definitely do that there. That's one. That's an extra surplus of fish. Here I can probably move... How many? Every 15 slave pop would provide grain. But if I build down here the farming settlement, which I will do, it will be every 10 slave pop, which means that I need two more in there, which means I can get another excess of wheat or grain. We'll move them from Edessa. So we'll move two pops from Edessa. Edessa, Edessa, Edessa. One, two. That's them shifted. I should make extra two grain from there. Anyway, the Olympic Games. Who do I send? I can send the Hierophant and the rival of the consort, or I can send a, Fred, a friend and the head of the Philid family. Yeah, let's send him. Let's send uh, Antipathes Philid. Might as well send that guy. Um, so that's done and dusted there. Let's see what I can do here. I've got three slaves there. Another seven. Oh, I can build something here, maybe. Maybe a... Uh, uh, hmm. I could probably do a slave estate, to be honest. Yeah, let's get a slave estate. How many? It's 13 slave pots would provide, would provide an additional olives. I could move them from Edessa, the city, I suppose. Yeah, let's move the three from Edessa and we'll move them in there. A few pots, move pop here. We'll move one, two, three. Okay, that's that. I have an extra olive there, which is always nice. Uh, Gortina here, we have wood. It's extra 15 wood. Every 15 slaves, sorry, not 15 wood, we gain an additional um, wood resource. I'm probably going to do that, just build a slave estate. Um, it just gets the productivity of the slaves up. We already have 10. I could probably sh move some from Pella, to be honest. Um, or maybe get some extra horses. Yeah, let's get some extra horses so I can export it and then get the bonus to the light cab. I think that's the best thing to do. We'll also build a slave estate there. I'm going to build... I'm going to move... Actually, we'll move five slaves out of... We'll move 10 slaves out of Pella into uh, these two places. That seems to be the best thing to do. Um, so let's do that quickly. Yeah, I, I do want to take my time. One, two, three, four, five. I think it is really important to actually do this, just to kind of macro-manage, uh, or no, micro-manage everything, um, just to kind of get the maximum stuff out of each territory we can get. It just makes it more... It, it just makes it better and easier for us to solve... One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So that's another five. That's an extra resource in there, which is always nice. Here it's glass. How much? I need 25. That ain't going to cut it. <laughs> Here it's wheat. And every eight slaves, we produce an additional one grain. So 16. So I need to move 11 out of the city of Thessalonica, which I can do. Yeah, we'll move another... Yeah, it's another six out of Thessalonica. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, damn, I moved it from Caledonia. Damn, that was the wrong one. I think I need to move a slave back in there. Where is Caledonia? Where did I move? Where did I move it from? Damn, I knew I did something wrong. Uh, it wasn't down there. Oh, it was down here. That's where I moved it from. Okay, don't matter, we'll do that after. Um, so anyway, I moved that there, so that's an extra grain. 
here it's glass so it's not really can't do anything here it's every 15 slaves um, can't build anything else there I could move some slaves into there I just don't have the money so far um, here can't do anything can't do anything we'll just wait to get more get more money I need to remember we're down here yeah I'll wait to get a bit more money uh, the Dacian local power shall density wants to import grain no problem and they want to import livestock no problem we've done all this just to get more more money it's just kind of feed the feed the cash machine that's what we need to do at the moment give it a hell of a lot of money uh, what about here are they oh it is working i had 65 it's gone down to 62 now okay so that's cool so we definitely need to do that i'm going to do it in the other places where we have a few barbarians as well notably down here we'll change the policy to social mobility as i mean i do want to thank carl for the suggestion i mean as he said get the tribesmen shave off the beards <laughs> change the clothes assimilate them convert them and then put them all in your province capitals it seems to be the best option to do i've got to say let's speed up the game a bit because i don't need to keep it on three speed we can kind of go a little bit faster to be honest i'm very tempted to do a fort down here as well i have the money and it would block the passage this way it really is quite tempting just the more forts i have maybe the better I can maintain them and it's just like in case anyone kind of gives me a good beating uh, nothing happened in the olympics in case anyone gives me a good beating on one front it's going to take them a while to go through it anyway an omen we could take now so what do i go for manpower recovery speed probably is the best thing to take at the moment maybe research points i mean that could be useful just manpower recovery speed at the moment let's just go for that cultural osmosis the tutor we have employed to oversee the education of our heir nicomachos is of sufficiently foreign culture as to convince nicomachos that his that these ways are superior so are they embraced to change to aetolian nope i'm gonna fire him we'll put someone else there instead did it fire him uh let's check that anyway ambisontia wants to import olives no problem did i fire the dude let's have a check that must be a bug. Uh, I think the Trophius is the court tutor. It didn't fire him. No, it didn't fire him. It didn't work. Oh well, well that must be a bug. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go back to... Actually, slow it down a little bit so I can actually keep um, shifting some slaves here and get all the extra stuff going. So how many do I need? 25 for extra precious metals. So not there. Oh, we can get some extra fish here. If I move a slave from... Yeah, let's move a slave from Cassandria. W pops. Move slave here. Cassandria, that gives us an extra fish in there, which is always useful to have. And what about down here? We extra fifteen gives extra every fifteen pot every fifteen slaves, sorry, gives us extra leather there. And here it's every fifteen slaves we get more olives. I should build a slave estate really. Let's get a slave estate down there. Macedon wants to import grain, no problem. We'll just kill you anyway at some point. You're down here, and I do want to get rid of them just because I want to integrate their ruling family and get the blood of Antipatros. Um, trait to my characters which would be nice um, I could probably shift five slaves in there really and um, where can I move them from Cassandrea yeah let's move them from there a few pops move slave there from Cassandrea one two three four five that's then moved and I have an extra a bit of leather there which is always good um, next what can I do next here that's every 15 olives every 15 slaves there we get some more um, some more olives i could move them from this place i suppose maybe in amphipolis maybe i could move them from amphipolis yeah let's move them from amphipolis i think we could do that the regional local power of erevisca want to import fish no problem or do i move them in there or do i go into the iron producing place i suppose we could do that and every 13 pop and here, how many is it in there? How many have we? Ten. Okay, we're going to get rid of this here. We're going to build one of these mines. I build a mine. It reduces the slaves needed. Um, and uh, we'll do this one first here. If I have every ten slaves, I get an extra surplus of iron that we can export. So I'll definitely do that. So let's move the slaves from... Uh, let's keep time ticking. From Let's move it from Amphipolis. And I will put in how many? Eight. We'll move eight slaves from Amphipolis. Where's Amphipolis? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the eight slaves that have been shifted. Now I have an extra iron surplus being made. Anyway, wealthy patron. The city of Pella has often been overlooked by the wealthy patrons of our capital. Today, however, Antifates Flaid 
has offered to spend a sizable quantity of his wealth on constructing a grand temple to Aphrodite. So I lose 200 gold. Oh no, the, no he loses 200 gold, sorry. Um, the, um, the, my, the friend of the Epiproxenos, so not me. And Pelaget, beautiful temple, until 564, giving local unrest, minus one. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, hell yeah, let's just, uh, might as well do that. He's paying for it, so uh, that's not really much of an issue. So he can definitely keep paying for it. Um, here, do I have any more slaves I can move here? And ten there. Who wants what? They want iron. Local power of Etruria want iron. We can have the iron, no problem. Um, probably should sh move... How many do I need? Ten there for more precious metals. Let's get some more precious metals. Or do I export stone? I do export stone. Um, oh, the coming of the city of Kir Kirapara. Where's that? I forgot I was building a city somewhere. It's got to be one of the capitals, I think. Kirapara, where is that? I have no idea where that is. Kirapara, let's just check where that is. Where did I... Where did I do that city? Kirapara. I'm going to have to check that. Let's have, it. let's have a look on the... Um, let's try and find it. Oh, I built a city there. I can't remember why I built a city there. That doesn't seem to be a good thing to do. Why did I do that? Hmm. Yeah, why did I... I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that was pretty silly, I think. Let's revoke the city. Hmm. Do I revoke the city status? Yeah, I just yeah. I don't know why I did that. I can't remember. I, I really can't remember. Oh well, don't matter. Just revoke the city status and uh, how many do I need? Oh, I need to rebuild the uh, yeah. I need to rebuild the mine. Yeah, I want to. Um, no, I don't know why I did that. I should have just kept it as a. Um, I definitely kept it as a settlement. Um, so how much do I need? I think I need ten. Or maybe it's eight. I think it might be less actually. Because what it is now, we have 13, we need 13 to currently do it, and that gets it down by 5. That's 9. No, it's 8, sorry. So 8, I need to move 8 slaves. We'll move these, we'll move 6 from there. I need, no, I need 8 slaves, so, uh, so I need 5. So I'll move 5 slaves from here, wherever that is, uh, Neapolis. Okay, we'll uh, move it from uh, Neapolis 3. So I'll move 5 slaves from there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Okay, that should be good now, and I should, when the mine's built there, I should have what is necessary. Well, I should have the sur like the surplus, so that's cool. And here I need ten. So where can I move some slaves from? Where can I move some? Hmm. Let's just check where I can actually move. I can move six from the city of Thessalonica. Let's move three from Thessalonica. Where's that Thessalonica? Thessalonica. Oh, it's not in the same damn province, is it? Oh, of course. So I can't move six from there. Uh, hmm. Okay. I have one there. Ten there. Oh, well, don't matter. I won't move them in there. We don't really need to do that. I'll just... Uh, we'll just wait. That doesn't really matter. Anyway, the local power of Adrissia wants to import wood. No problem. They want to import um, leather. No problem. We'll export all that without a problem whatsoever. Yeah, we're just uh, going to gonna really rake in the cash now. Um, up here, I need how many? 10 slave pops to build an extra iron. Here we need 15 for the wood. Let's get rid of that. I don't need that. Probably get a slave estate as well in there. And we'll get rid of this as well. We'll get rid of this tribal building we don't need. We'll get another slave estate. Someone died anyway. Sicilia and bonus lifetime of excess. He died, so basically he did uh, he did excess in everything, maybe drinking and women or men. I've no idea what his preference was. <laughs> anyway, so let's keep moving forward. Now I need to see what we can do with the other place. Um, oh yeah, it was no, was it here? Yes, this was down here. Here three. Yeah, get rid of these. Um... Oh, that's a... nah, I don't need to get rid of them just yet. I will do at some point. Uh, what's down here? I need 10 from there. I don't really have that many slaves down here, to be honest. I should get a... could build a mine down here. So what do we need there? 15, that'll reduce it by 5. So I need 7, 8, 9, 3 more I need. So I'll move some slaves about. Maybe 2 from the capital of Spinapara. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Move two from the capital of Spinopara. One, two. And also move one from Per Germania. Where's Germania? Germania. Here we go. Boom. And that should mean we should have surplus of that. Here I... Hmm. We need, what? 13 for an extra woad. So let's build another slave estate. And then I need to move two for some extra woad. So we'll move them from Germania. I don't export woad. So, yep, let's move two from Germania. Move pop here. Germania, Germania. One, two. That's done and dusted. Here it is a farming estate, but I don't have the slaves necessary. Yeah, we don't have that many slaves over here, to be honest. How many do I need? Eight to actually get surplus. I could shift these. I could actually shift a few. Maybe the seven from here. Yeah, we'll move the seven from Astria. Move pop here. Astria. Where is that? Astria, Astria. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives us more surplus there. Or does it? Why do I need ten? Oh, it's ten then. Oh, God, I didn't move, in, didn't move enough. Let's move one from Bargola then. So, few pops. Move. Bargola, that's the one that's moved there. Someone died, we'll check that after. Uh, the local power of Carnia wants to import Woad, which gives us national tribal and happiness plus 5% and plus 0.33 per month. So we'll definitely do that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I have nine, and one more slave. And we'll move it from Skaptopera. Skaptopera, okay, that's that done. Skaptopera, where are you? Here we go, boom. Now that's an extra bit of surplus over there. Ooh, it's taken a bit of time, but it has to be done. At least uh, we will start making a hell of a lot more money um, at the end of it. Seems to be the best thing to do. Here we have... How many tribesmen do we have? 13. Not that many, actually. Um, Dacian local power of Bastion wants to import fish. Go for it, guys. I mean, we definitely import fish. No problem. Here, can I move any slaves? Do we have anything here that I can actually do? Here we have a settlement. Um, we have a fort there, though. Here we have a tribal building. Could probably get rid of the slaves there. Uh, another tribal building there. Here I have what? For livestock. It's every turn I can move a slave in there. Let's move one from Thoranda. So we'll move pop here. Thoranda. Boom. There we go. That's an extra livestock resource. Uh, we need 10 there. But I can build a slave estate. We'll build one there. Just get these slave estates rolling. Uh, hemp. Could do something to do with hemp, actually. Let's get that off there and build another slave estate. Definitely do that. How many do I need? 15. I can move some of these slaves over here. I can move the 7 from Scoopoy. Let's do that. Let's move the 7 from Scoopoy over there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so let's move the 7 from Scoopoy. I make extra hemp now, which we can get rid of, which is always nice. I have 10 here, 15 slave pots, need to build a mine. We'll build a mine. Once I get the money to build the mine, then it should reduce the amount by 5. Um, yep, and we'll do a benefit, a surplus of stone in there as well. So how much does it cost? 84. So once we get 84, we'll do that. I think we've actually gone through this quite well now. We've like pretty much done most of the stuff. Uh, he is getting rid of these tribesmen, which is always good. We are getting rid of them. Do I have any more down here? Not many down there. I have a little bit down here. I suppose we could get for social mobility. Hmm. But then again, it would risk... We could then it would actually get rid of some of the slaves as well. Um, probably could be worth doing that. Uh, the Armenian Civil War ends, which is interesting. Um, do I want to go for social mobility up there as well? The regional power of Latabrigia wants to import horses. Yes, that is nice. Now, that gives us extra light cab discipline, which I definitely want as well as the money. That is really useful. Um, we don't have that many down there. We have quite a few in here. We have quite a few tribesmen. I could get rid of them. Let's go for social mobility down here as well. Social mobility. Try and get rid of these tribesmen. I could really do it. Where was it? I could do it down here. No, not down here, sorry. Not down there. Where was it? Up here. There we go. I could probably get rid of them. Should I do social mobility? Let's try. Yeah, let's do it here as well. Let's uh, go for the social mobility. 
Just uh, get, get rid of these tribesmen. <laughs> we need to really get rid of them. We need more tech. We need tribesmen. What I also need to do is when we get the money... Um, oh, I need to do that... Um, what is it? The... Uh, God, the mine. Where was it? Virginia, was it? No. No, it's over here. Here we go. There we go. We need to get the mine here to get the extra surplus of stone. What I need to do as well is in the cities, we need to do... I need to do academies and libraries and uh, just get more citizens going. Um, the library gives me ideal citizen fraction, which means I'll have more citizens in my cities where I have libraries in compared to the rest of the pops. And the academy gets up the research points. Um, so that is pretty nice. I could upgrade maybe... Hmm... What is the religion? It's all the same religion. Culturally speaking, it's pretty much the same up there, which is pretty good. I could go for another... No, I don't think it's worth it. Another library. Or another... Mm, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll just um, get all the libraries and academies in each city. Um, anyway, the uh, decent local power of Zarkadeva wants to import hemp. No problem. That gives me... That reduces my ship damage. And they want to import vegetables there as well. That is cool. So that's all done. Someone died, and we do have some position of researcher needed in the civic sector. Yeah, I'm, God, I don't... Oh, God, my people. I have really bad people now. I need more more people. I need to uh, conquer more peoples and have more uh, skilled people to choose from. <laughs> anyway, let's put Tim Arshus to risk it. Um, he's the loyalist. He's, like, the most loyal one. Actually, no, yeah, let's get Lizondrias. He's a loyalist. The most loyal one out of all of them. And he has, like, the same amount of finesse as the others. So we'll put you in there. That's not really an issue. Um, and I think it's time to make a cut in the episode here, guys. Um, I mean, no, I, I'm, the episode was uh, very uh, tedious, I've got to say. I've got to admit, um, I had to really go through, uh, just kind of administer everything and try and get the most out of my territories that I possibly could, as well as making sure we uh, try to solve the tech issue, which we really need to do. Hopefully, by doing uh, social mobility, we'll get rid of uh, the tribesmen. Hopefully, they'll promote to freemen and citizens. Hopefully, for the citizens. Um, what we'll do in the next episode is... Um, We'll definitely, uh, well, how to put it, we'll definitely attend to the cities and build some libraries and some academies, try and get the citizen fraction up, and I think we'll start by doing that in the next episode. Before I cut the video here, I'm going to just colonise that land again, because I probably moved all the pops out of it, which was silly of me. <laughs> so anyway, we've colonised that back. Um, but anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, uh, really give it a nice thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, guys. You've all been brilliant. And I'll see you next time for another episode of Imperator Alone. Later, guys.